Mazda is launching an SUV assault with the 2023 CX-60, which will be sold in Europe, Japan and other territories. Although it appears to be a familiar model, it is actually a brand new vehicle with rear-wheel drive underpinnings known as the SkyActiv multi-solution scalable architecture. It's the company's first plug-in hybrid model and is equipped with the iActive all-wheel drive system, which predominantly drives the back wheels. The new Mazda CX-60 is instantly recognizable as a Mazda thanks to its bold creases and large front grille. It's a smart-looking design. Up front, there are some slim LED headlights along with a gloss black honeycomb grille surrounded in chrome. Looking down the sides, you get a choice of 18 or 20-inch alloy wheels. It has muscular stance as well thanks to the flared wheel arches. It's no sports car but it looks more muscular than your average boxy SUV. The rear end looks very similar to the smaller Mazda CX-5. This means some thin LED lights and a sporty looking bumper. The interior of the new Mazda CX-60 takes a lot of design cues from other cars in the Mazda range. This means you get smart looking clutter-free cabin while still retaining physical buttons for the basic controls. The all-new CX-60 is much more screen-focused Mazda thanks to a human-machine interface that incorporates fully digital 12.3-inch driving cluster and oversized head-up display and a 20.3-inch central infotainment display that is both a touchscreen and can be controlled via Mazda's MZD dial near the gear lever. And can be controlled via Mazda's MZD dial near the gear lever. Intriguingly, However, the CX-60 also includes a driver personalization system that incorporates three key features. Automatic driving position guide, automatic setting restoration and ingress egress assistance. A camera built in the front seat detects the position of the driver's eyes and can adjust the steering wheel, seat height, head-up display and door mirrors to match the driver's eye positions. As you move up the range, features such as keyless entry, start, electrically adjustable seats and heated seats are added. You'll have to step up to the top spec Takumi model if you want the white Napa leather seats shown above. The CX-60 launches with just one powertrain, a plug-in hybrid setup combining Mazda's 2.5-litre inline-4 with an electric motor for a total 322 horsepower or enough for 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in 5.8 seconds. An 8-speak automatic and all-wheel drive system also form part of the package, as does a 17.8 kWh battery that should enable a decent bit of electric range. The CX-60 will offer up to 5 MI drive modes, normal, sport, off-road, towing and on the plug-in hybrid only and EV mode. Two inline six cylinders will eventually be added to the powertrain portfolio. Both will be mild hybrid systems. One is a 3.0 litre gasoline unit and the other is 3.3 litre diesel. Mazda said both inline six engines have been designed to support rear all wheel drive. Engine in Mazda's rear wheel drive platform features longitudinal mounting. The platform also benefits from double wishbone suspension up front and a multi link setup at the rear. In Europe, the CX-60 will be uh, in Europe. The CX-60 will be available in four variants, with with prices ranging from forty-three thousand nine hundred and fifty pounds to forty-eight thousand fifty pounds.